Right, what we're going to do, we're going to just run you through some form of a couple of the players that we've mentioned on this list that are playing in the thing, just to maybe point you in the right direction if you're looking over a little flutter, and just basically let you know who's in form and who's not. We'll start off with Stevie Sensation, Steve Gibson. Um, a lot of you know him on the forum, can be a bit of a clown sometimes and, and, and can be a bit loud and obnoxious. However, anyone that studies the game properly and watches him play will understand that over the last six months the guy's matured a hell of a lot poker-wise and uh, I think on three of the six days in the Circus League at the moment he's in the top five. Shows that his game's obviously um, improved. He doesn't make his silly moves anymore and he makes the final tables quite a lot. So he's one to look out for and I think if I remember, uh, I think he was 25 to 1, I think, which he was, yeah. So, you know, maybe a bit of value there. Um, obviously, as we mentioned with the bets before, there's not just the winners, there's anyone at the final table bets, there's the last lady standing bet and there's the captain's last longer bet. Uh, all on the forum, get on there and have a look. If you've not had a look yet, and get your bets across. Anyway, back to the forum players. Obviously, you know, we've got, we have to mention Zeneco, um, the reigning champion. Obviously, is going to be out looking to retain this lovely trophy, win another bracelet and another one of these. Um, he's, he's never out of form, Zeneco. He's a steady away player. He's got some great, great achievements. And I'm not going to mention one on here. I'm saving that for tomorrow before we start. Uh, I'll tell you something that maybe some of you don't know, which you'll be very impressed with anyway, to do with a Grosvenor League thing. So come on to him tomorrow. We've got Mrs. Stumpy, who I think the last four visits to Circus has made the final table in every one. Uh, good, solid player. Um, doesn't waste her chips. Knows when to get her chips in. She's another one at, th at 25 to 1 that, you know, might be worth a little uh, flutter on there. And of course, Chipmunk, one of the dobbers, probably the most consistent dobber at the moment. Uh, every time he enters a poker tournament, he's always there around the final two tables. Uh, again, he seems to have the mixture of good play and good running all mixed into one, which enables him to make lots and lots of final tables and uh, make a canny bit from poker. So keep your eye on him. I think he was about 18, 18 to 1. Yep, he was 18 to 1. Uh, number one fish, who a lot of you will know from the threads on the forum. A lot of you probably won't know what he looks like or who he is because he's, he doesn't really play out live. He, he likes to be sat behind his computer. But the guy's cash for nearly $100,000 in the last two weeks online. He can obviously play, and if he can transfer his online form to the live game, which Texas Trev cannot do, then uh, he's going to be uh, a real threat. Uh, and that's why we've made him um, one of the, the joint favourites. But uh, we'll introduce you to him tomorrow when he comes, so you can all get a look at him. And we'll take it from there. And the last person on the list uh, of the form players we're going to give you is a guy that probably not hardly any of you will know. Uh, he was right at the bottom. He was called Tinners. Okay, his name's Wayne Thompson, I think. I'll just check that. Sorry, Wayne Tinian. Um, he, he used to run a pub, I think, called the Nine Pins, and he plays a lot in the pub games. And if you look on the, some of the threads that Gatsby's put up, he's won uh, or come second in the last seven Jolly Miller games, which I know it's not the greatest standard. But you've got to, when you've got to get through a field of between 15 and 30 players every week, to finish in the top two every week, he obviously can play the game and knows how to play. And he's priced up at 50 to 1. So any of you value hunters there, the odd little fiver and, and uh, whatever going on there tomorrow is going to make me and Team Dob shake, I think, if we take too much on him. But anyway, that's kind of the, the, the players that we're looking at. There's, there's numerous, many, numerous more we could mention. Team Dob, Stumpy, um, you know... The, Bob the Gob, they're all there and thereabouts every time in all the local tournaments. Class field, quality field, whoever wins on Sunday will have the honour of not only having this cup and the bracelet and being crowned the champion, they'll also have the, the honour of knowing that they've been through probably one of the toughest poker fields that you will ever, ever find in a local tournament. Believe me, you, you know, anybody that thinks it's you know, going to be like a normal local tournament, uh, 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 uh. We, we, we're talking a good field. So, it's all going to kick off tomorrow. Uh, tournaments plan to start at three. We would like you all to be there for half one, quarter to two at the latest, because there's bits and pieces we're going to need to do before. Obviously, everyone's paid the registration fee, but we need to collect the money in for the raffles. Um, I don't know, is there going to be name tags again this year? No, no name tags this year, so, 
you know, the, but there's other stuff and bits and pieces that we're going to need to do before, so we need to get you there as early as possible. Please, please don't turn up at 10 to 3. Get, make sure, if you can, I obviously appreciate some people might be working, but the majority of you get there for no later than quarter to two, two o'clock at the outside. Give us a chance to kick off on time, um, because we've got a few bits and pieces planned for before the event. Um, obviously, it's been noted it's Halloween, uh, fancy dress. More than welcome to come as fancy dress. Team Dobbs has already told me today what his costume's going to be. Um, and I also know uh, a few costumes of some of the others. I don't think they'll mind me telling you what they are. Um, Scott, Scotty, Scotty Hopkins, he's going to come as a donkey. Stevie Sensation uh, is dressing up as an ass. Uh, Roscoe Pico is definitely coming as a fish. And Coit is coming with two walking sticks uh, because he's a limping Larry. So there's four of the things. But if you want to come dressed up, then by all means do. You know, there'll be a few people there dressed up, and you know, it'll add to the day. It'll add to the day. Um, basically, all we can say tomorrow is for the two days, enjoy yourselves. Right? It's going to be about fun. We want everyone to have fun, and everyone to. You're going to meet people you don't know apart from their names on the forum. It's a social event, and although it's fifty pound in, and the price was going to be five grand. The poker, in my opinion, and I think in the guy's opinion that have set this up, is secondary. It is a, a whole event. It, it's, it's geared for two days of fun for everybody. Anyone that played last year, you remember what a great two days it was. And this year, we're going to try and surpass that. On the Sunday, probably starting around 4 o'clock will be the bounty tournament. Uh, the final table should be running, I would have thought then for uh, the main event, maybe almost at the final table, but the bounty event will start. Anyone that's out on the Saturday or that can't play the Saturday wants to come and play on the Sunday, you're more than welcome. Uh, the more the merrier for the Sunday game. Structure them things up on there. But uh, as we said, come and enjoy yourselves. It's all about fun. That's the main aspect. We want everyone to go away from that having a great day. And uh, remember, as we said, get there as early as you can to just make it a lot easier for us guys that are doing the organisation. Right, what can I say? It's almost upon us. One more night to go and this trophy will be out of the grasp of Zenacode on the table and ready for the new champion to be presented with it on Sunday. I think Zenacode will be turning in his bed this evening and he probably won't get a good night's sleep knowing that he's got to go through that field that I read out later to retain this trophy. We'll see you all there tomorrow. That's the end of this MPF News special. And as always, we leave you with a question. Slightly different one this week. And the simple question is this. The MPF Championship start tomorrow and finish on Sunday. Who's going to win? You decide. The winner.